Good evening, and welcome to St. Bernadette's Missionary Discipleship Family. Today, we celebrate the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please air five, wave, or smile to your neighbor. We ask that you please silence your phone and prepare your heart to celebrate the sacred liturgy. Today's second collection is for World Mission Sunday. For today's readings, we give thanks today for we are gathered together and led home by the God who loves us unconditionally. Our celebrant is Father John Peter. Please stand. <coughs> As we pray, I confess, Almighty God, and be my brothers and sisters.
Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. 
brothers and sisters. Every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes his honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have become you. Just as he says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. I want to thank and welcome you once again to this Eucharistic celebration. On this Sunday, the Lord invites us to contemplate and to I give thanks to God for the beautiful gift of the spiritual nourishment, the spiritual life nourishment of the Holy Spirit who continues to give us the spirit of insight, the insight that allows us to see in and out so that we might be able to give glory to God. The first reading reminds us about how people of Israel have been set free they delivered, liberated from all bondage. They come to their own land. Now they are building their own houses. And so they are able to see the things that they have never seen before. They are able to feel the, the belongingness. 
they are able to see the ownership of their land, their property. And so the words of the prophet brings them more healing and strength. And obviously we could say, you know, that the, the gospel really reminds even deeper. The story of this party is a blind man just sitting on the sidewalk. We do not know how long, but he has been there for so many years. Just happy with whatever pennies that he gets, whatever food that he can get, seems to be happy. But he wasn't, he wasn't too happy because he was blind. He could have just been satisfied with the pennies that he had, but when he heard about the name of Jesus, he might have heard about 